So today's segment for War Story Wednesdays has to do with an April Fool's Day joke gone bad. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't a joke. The property was listed April 1st. The property was a house in the Oakland Hills that the real estate broker described as an authenticated Julia Morgan design. Now, for those of you who don't know, Julia Morgan was a really famous architect here in California. So famous, in fact, that she's revered by architects around the state, including the architect who read about the house in an article published about a week later in the San Francisco Chronicle. Architect and his wife really like this idea of buying this house, and so they make a full price offer. How come? Well, wanted a Julia Morgan house, wanted to be able to live in a Julia Morgan house. All was good until it came time for deciding how he was going to pay for it. Now, he wanted to make his purchase of the house contingent upon the sale of his house. And the real estate broker said that's not such a good idea because he might be undercut. Someone else may come in without that kind of a contingency and be able to buy the house out from under him. So he swallowed hard and decided he'd go ahead and list his house for sale using the same real estate agent because, well, that just made life convenient for everybody. So the real estate agent goes ahead, takes that listing, and within a month has it sold. This is really good news for the architect. Two days before the close of escrow to buy the Oakland property, they're sitting in a title insurance company office with the real estate broker who hands the architect an addendum that says, by the way, there are no plans at City Hall that verify this is indeed a Julia Morgan designed home. The architect and his wife paused and said, well, how come? Your documentation says it's an authenticated Julia Morgan. Real estate broker said she wasn't sure and wanted to make sure that the architect knew she wasn't sure. So for the next couple of days, the architect and his wife scramble around. They spoke with an author who had written a book about Julia Morgan and who told them that she was convinced that this was indeed Julia Morgan design. The architect, still not convinced, reached out to Julia Morgan's goddaughter. And she apparently has made her life's work documenting the projects that her godmother did, told the architect that she didn't have anything that conclusively proved that this was indeed a Julia Morgan designed house. So the architect's between a rock and a hard place. If he doesn't sign the deal, he's homeless. He doesn't get the house in Oakland and he's already sold his house. Confronted with a no-win scenario, the architect signs the document and closes the deal. And then shortly thereafter, sues the real estate broker for fraud, for making their misrepresentation that the house was an authenticated Julia Morgan, when in fact there was no such authentication. The broker lost, and the case went up on appeal. The broker said, well, there's no way that the architect could have relied on the representation because prior to the close of escrow, the architect was advised that the broker wasn't sure. And indeed, the architect went out and verified with the author and the goddaughter. So the architect had full knowledge of the inconclusive nature of the claim of being a Julia Morgan design prior to closing the escrow. So when the architect closed, the architect did it with full knowledge, no reliance on a misrepresentation by the broker at all. And the Court of Appeals said, yeah, no. The reliance existed at the time that the architect made the offer, not at the time of the close of escrow. And that was enough. So what's the takeaway? If you're going to describe a unique characteristic of a property, be sure you're right, because that's not the time to play April Fools. <laughs>